Coast Command really was the Cinderella of the Air Force in those days, at the end of the Shackleton days. The Maritime Force has always been a little bit of a, uh, an oddity from the rest of the Air Force's point of view. I may have flown straight in, I, I just don't know. And I didn't, I recovered consciousness after I was in the water, and then I was drifting in and out of consciousness. Today, John Cruikshank recalls his ordeal when his plane was riddled by enemy fire and he and his crew members all seriously wounded. But he made a second run and released the depth charges himself to sink the submarine. Strike Force Entertainment brings you a comprehensive view of Coastal Command through the eyes of four RAF heroes from before its inception in 1936 through the Second World War, the Berlin Airlift, and the Cold War until its demise in 1969. With news reviews of the time and fabulous archive footage from the Imperial War Museum, this bastion of the Royal Air Force collection, Coastal Command from 1936 to 1969, years, brings Coastal the Command Cinderella Air Force to, to vivid life. <laughs> Yet another stunning film from Strikeforce Entertainment.